And we have Quiet Buck, another man that denies Yahushua Jesus Christ as Messiah and the Son of God and teaches people not to worship Yahushua Jesus Christ. Furthermore, he claims that the man he calls Jesus used marijuana for healing purposes and that marijuana is an alien plant that was brought to this planet from outer space for those healing purposes. We came to find out that his version of Jesus is nothing more than the Native American shaman Red Elk. Then we have Unrepentant Donnie 71954 who exalted Wisdom Hunter 93 like John the Baptist exalted Yahushua the Son of God as Donnie stated that Elizabeth Elijah was not worthy to untie the latchet of Wisdom Hunter 93's shoes. We have the hypocrisy of Hammer and Nails 777 who calls me his brother and says he loves me in public yet in private messages sends me the most vile PMs. And the last example we show you is Crossway OKC who shows no regard in any kind of way to Yahweh God's words as he proudly dresses like a blonde drag queen to mock Prophet Elizabeth Elijah and proudly and mockingly refers to himself as Satan's lady in drag. This man has been playing games in his videos giving away to the viewers his practices of voodoo while people like M. Love for Christ and Wisdom Hunter 93 endorse his abominations while he calls Wisdom Hunter 93 openly a hussy. Yet they come to, for example, Dr. Russell's videos accusing her that she does not bring forth good fruit. Now what's wrong with that picture? So as they invite, accept and tolerate all of these people, commandment breakers, idolaters and blasphemers, liars and covetous thieves, adulterous fornicators and abominables, those who bring in New Age teachings and doctrines of devils and those that engage in the occult, the question is what makes us uninvited and different from all of them and what makes them fight a mighty wind ministry? Is it because we believe that the Holy Spirit is of feminine gender as the original Hebrew and Aramaic manuscripts tell us? Although they claim this is the reason, it is not. About every Jew and Hebrew out there knows that the Holy Spirit, also referred to as wisdom, is of feminine gender. Man changed this precious truth and that which we call the New Testament into he for their own selfish reasons and motivations. The truth is out there, presented in videos among other material, and to say that because we believe the Holy Spirit is a feminine gender, to say that we therefore worship a demon goddess like Astarte is just plain stupidity. It does not make sense and is based on nothing. It are more false accusations and lies without any kind of foundation whatsoever. So what are the real reasons that we are not invited, accepted and tolerated? And what are the real reasons that they fight a mighty wind ministry? These are the true reasons. 1. We preach the Ten Commandments and we want to not receive the mark of the beast which will be Sunday worship. Number 2. We teach the Jewishness of the Messiah and teach that to love him is to obey him and keep his commandments. Number 3. We teach to observe the Sabbath day which is the seal of the living God. And number four, we make no excuses for sinners and warn the unrepentant, lukewarm church that call themselves by the name of Jesus Christ that they are on their way to hell if they do not repent of purposely sinning and trampling Yahushua's blood on their foot as if it's something unholy. And on top of this, this ministry has a true prophet of Yahweh. Now they know that when a true prophet or ministry of God comes in, then the prophet will of course recognize, discern and reprove their evil because the prophets are full of Yahweh God's spirit and wisdom. This is why the members of the Unity Gathering are here on such places as YouTube. It is to keep an eye on the Christian community that gathers together 
and when they detect the anointing of the Holy Spirit in a person or recognize a prophet, they try to either chase off the prophet itself or try to chase Yahushua's sheep and lambs away from that prophet. This they mainly do by mind control, mind manipulation and psychological warfare and then not to mention the occult practices they engage in as they cast their demonic curses at those that view them. They make sure they deceive and twist the truth, calling the love of the prophet who wants hate and the prophet itself a judgmental and proud idiot. They use Yahushua Jesus Christ's own scriptures to justify their wickedness and to rebuke his own prophet and like the devil did in the wilderness when he tried to tempt Yahushua Jesus for 40 days, they use God's scriptures for their own evil agenda, therefore confusing those that have a lack of knowledge as these people think they must be sent by Jesus Christ because they quote scripture. The truth is that the scriptures they quote, they twist it and apply it when they cannot apply it, and they do not live it, neither do they even believe these scriptures, but quote them only when it's convenient to them. One of their tactics to chase off a holy prophet is create characters and use certain real individuals to create different deceptions for different minds. We have the wonderful loving brother who says, oh let's just come together and get along. There are no problems whatsoever, why get angry? You're my brother and friends. And then he sneaks up behind you to stab a knife in your back while he uses the word of God to justify it. Then we have the pastor, who claims to be an ordained pastor, putting himself out as a shepherd of the flock to gain the trust of the people, yet does not live up in any kind of way, shape or form to that title. Then we have the teacher, no matter what truths we present, he just makes sure he finds the opposite statements, presenting it in a way that makes us look as if we are exposed. After all, he's a teacher. This is the guy to know, isn't he? All this is done to gain the trust of the people. The truth is simply that this man knows nothing at all. Then we have the loving sister who cries and prays and says she loves us so much. Loving us? How? By spreading lies and persecuting us? This woman has not a clue what love is, as Yahushua Jesus Christ said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. First John says if we say we know him, but do not keep his commandments, we are found liars and the truth is not even in us. Then we have the Jew, to convince people that we know nothing about the Hebrew language, or about Judaism and that we got it all wrong. And again, after all, he's the guy to know, isn't he? Then we've got the educated one, the defender and the list goes on and on and on. As a wolf pack, gathered together to manipulate minds into thinking that these must be wonderful brothers and sisters in Christ, but the question is which Christ do they worship? Now if you have 